Hi, this is ZQ2, founder of Asia Forex Mentor. So in this video, I'll be revealing what I do on a weekly basis and I'll be sharing my analysis for this week, which is the 29th of Feb 2016. So you can refer to this video throughout the week to spot for trade setups. The analysis in this video will be my trading plan for the week. So in my weekly analysis videos, I'll be sharing pairs that are possible setup for the week or pairs that are worth taking note. Okay, so, so here's the first pair. So uh, DXA basically, uh, it's the uh, the dollar index, right? So <clears throat> what happens is uh, on the dollar index, uh, I've noted on the four hour itself. So okay, so overall, this is the this is the overall zone of the dollar index, whereby uh, I kind of have broken it into the top half and the bottom half so in a way price is now has has broken back into the top half of the of the, the top zone for the dollar index so if we go on to the four time frame i've marked the let me delete this line first i've marked the white line the white line which is my uh, 365 though so i've marked my white line as the crucial line for uh, 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 a signal of it breaking out right so uh, from what we can see from the brief history that we have over here, the uh, the 365 price has been respecting the white line really well until it broke through, and then when it came back up, it tested, respected again, and this time out, if eventually it broke through. So after breaking through, it came back down to test the old line again, and uh, if this holds well, uh, this is a, a good clear breakout uh, of the uh, the strong rejection area that we have for the dollar index itself. So I'll, I'll be looking to go long on the uh, dollar index uh, for now for the overview and it has also broken through what we can look over here. This is the my blue dotted line and the orange line is kind of like the middle zone and it has also clearly broken through the middle zone. Last time round, see price respected the my blue dotted line which is the middle zone pretty well. Eventually it broke through, it headed right all the way towards the top. So this time round price is has now broken through the middle zone as well. So uh, based on history itself, I'll be looking to uh, enter this on uh, on uh, an uptrend upwards so this is for dollar index next next will be for the oil right the oil so what happens is um i've put a line here which is marked by the previous lows and the highs here so last so after breaking through the lows at the start of 2016 it came back up to test the top line again and still respected really well so this time around the price went up again and, and it formed a, a pin bar on uh, last friday itself so um Although I do not really like it to be the second time of uh, heading back up towards the, the rejection line, but I haven't seen that this is a pin bow out. Um, it's probably worth taking a shot for, for us to, 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 to go for a shot downwards. But if price do goes up and closes above, let me plot the line over here, above the top of the pin, and price do close above the top of the pin then this is a good indication that price is now going to hit upwards and if it does that then i'll be looking to go long the next stop where it would stop the next rejection area will be the lows here and also the highs here so then i'll be looking to get it out here so clearly this is a a, a crucial area for a two-way trade i'll be looking to in a way i'll be looking for it to, to go short once i have a clear confirmation on the lower time frame itself next usd sgd so usd sgd um from what we can note is um if i zoom out let me remove this line first this is the uh, strong uh, rejection area for usd sgd so here was the top high here was the high and then after that price respected this line pretty much so right now this is the price came down and uh, to, to rest on the rejection area which is the reason why it held well really here so that's the reason why it's kind of stumbling over here so if i go on to the daily time frame i have can also it, uh, the the top re what, what we can see is the uptrend that we have I have plotted a red trend line over here. So the uptrend has uh, all this while has been holding really well since uh, April. It has been holding really well for the April 2015 until it broke over here at the start of uh, in uh, around end of January. So once it broke here, the the uptrend for the lower thing has stopped, and then price came down to rest on the old rejection line which you have covered just now. So if I zoom in. What we can see over here is price is now uh, hovering um, pretty much below 
the blue Bollinger Band. So this is kind of the thing that is uh, in a way that is uh, stopping it. So I would I would note this as a important zone for me to 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 note the trade itself. If price do breaks through the blue Bollinger Band, which is looks like it's a very strong injection level. Once it does goes up, I'll be looking for it to go long enough. And of course, when it does goes up, it'll probably hover around here because after all, this is the previous strong trend line itself. So this will be an area where I'll be watching it. Okay, next pair, NZD USD. So again, this is a uh, let's see, uh, price is pretty much. If I put on the monthly, I plotted the white line here. It's because uh, it is the three six five on the monthly itself. So I just place it here so that I will note. I can note it in the lower time frame itself. So last week itself, price from a uh, selling pin. Right on the weekly buy itself, so it's a it's a selling pin on the last week uh, buy itself, which is a, a indication of a, a possibly downtrend for this week itself. So having look at that, let's go on to daily time frame. So if we look at the daily time frame, okay, price is now uh here was the pin bar that formed last week with a combination of a couple of last week bars, right? So the reason why price is now stalling it and this pair, I, 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 I like it a lot is because of price is respecting my blue bronzer line a lot. By far, there's no bars that is close below my blue bollinger band over here, over here and over here as well. So we, what we can clearly see is price is respecting the bollinger band respects eventually it broke through once it does break through it hits all the way to the top and when it came back down it respected and then it broke through again so all this raw price is below the zone after that it came back up and they respect the zone again so this zone is a crucial strong rejection area which is which is what we always like to see in the uh when we are trading we like to we like to find areas where thereby there are strong rejection areas and if price breaks through a strong rejection area then then we can say that with uh, with a uh, high probability that is going to go the, uh, the other way the, the 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 area that he has broken through because all this while price keeps respecting the area that he has over here and uh, keeps gets gets rejected by it uh, for uh, a, a pretty much a long time since uh, January so I'll be looking at this area uh, closely and if it does breaks through then the next area where you kind of stop will be my red, my white line over here which is my monthly uh, 365 okay so next pair Euro USD so Euro USD uh, let's see okay so if I look at the daily time frame itself okay price as a uh, Okay, let's look weekly. Okay, I've marked a couple of zones for the Euro USD. Uh, so previously, price was congesting sideways for a, a pretty long time in uh, 2015. So after that, it broke through towards the next high, and it came up towards the next high, which is the highs over here. And that after that, it came back down. So after coming back down, uh, we we can expect uh this this uh my area my lines over here to be a, a strong rejection to be a rejection area right and uh, price clearly broke through and uh hovered uh, so you see uh, let me just zoom this a little bit more it hovered around here which is marked by my previous high hovered for two days eventually it broke through with a uh, affirmative close below my orange line and my blue uh, my blue dotted line after that price came and tried to go over it but by far no close has been done over it so this is a strong indication that uh, this uh, it is a clear break downwards and the, the rejection level is respecting really strong so uh, last Friday itself it formed a big long bearish outside bar uh, of this rejection level so for Euro USD I would say overall yeah, I'll, I'll be looking at a, at a more bearish uh, it, it is likely to be a bearish trend based on technical analysis and uh, um, the next area where it would stop will be the the congestion that we have over here which is the lowest that we have over here all right so this is for euro usd okay lastly s p uh, 500 so s p 500 uh, last week i mentioned that uh, uh 
price is going to retrace and price is going to go up and whereby here could be a, a, a rejection zone right so uh, there is also another before reaching here there's also another rejection over here which the previous highs over here which i can plot by the line over here right and last friday itself it kind of formed a pin to close below it so s p in a way has a tendency to go above and then came and then comes back down so i mean uh the the last time round for pin bars for if we look at the uh the s p they're all pretty much uh they all they all they all pretty much work at least for that day itself for example pin bar over here this is a weekly it shot up selling pin it shot down buying pin it shot up right so and what we can also note is that uh which i i I forgot to mention last week is that there is my weekly blue Bollinger Band and that is also a very strong area of rejection because the last time around price has been respecting it very well with no close below it right so there's the reason why price stopped here as well so uh, here is also a strong rejection on the weekly time frame and that's the reason why it kind of formed a pin over here and in fact I was late on this video so uh, the market has already pushed it down further so oh no this could could be could be the start of a, a trigger for for a downtrend um i'll be looking in the, for opportunities on the lower time frame so if you go on to the one hour time frame uh that's the uh, price came down and it's now hovering around the my uh my blue bonja band and my 150 and it's kind of hovering over here right so this is a strong rejection area which the last few times price respected really well so uh i, I will look at this uh as a uh, as the in a way the uh, my final final barrier before it before it going down once it does uh, have a clear cut big crew then i'll be looking to uh short the uh s p okay so um that's all for this week uh like i mentioned i'll be uh i'll be having my uh singapore seminar on the 26 and 27th of march um registration i'll be uh looking to close pretty soon so if you are looking to attend the seminar do uh send in the registrations because uh, i'll be looking to close it pretty soon okay so that's all for this week i'll see you all next week